When they pump it in the Jeeps, it's gonna rock right. True. In the streets, it's gonna rock right. True. At a show, it's gonna rock right. True. Here we go with the butters, boo. You know how we do. When they pump it in the Jeeps, it's gonna rock right. 2.4 subscribers. It's your boy Alex, and I'm back again with another edition of Cracking the Collection. This week, I'm gonna show one of my new pickups that I got from Mitchell and Ness a couple of weeks ago, and a pair of kicks that I pulled from the, the closet. The first thing I'm going to show is the jersey, and it's actually a Michael Jordan rookie jersey from 1984-1985, made by Mitchell and Ness. I picked up this jersey a couple weeks ago, I actually uh, made the trip from D.C. to Philly. I just got inspired to pick this jersey up after getting the Pinstripe Jordan jersey, which the quality of it really kind of hyped me up with the <laughs> my collection gene. And next thing you know, I had to get multiple Bulls Mitchell and Ness jerseys. And if you look back in my old videos, I think when I showed that Jalen Rose one, it was like the only Bulls jersey I had. Uh, now I have a bunch of them just because, uh, you know, I kind of got jump started from, from the Jordan pinstripe. But this one here has a interesting material. I haven't felt this type of material in any of my other Mitchell and Ness jerseys. It's a softer uh, mesh uh, and it seems just to kind of go back to the to that particular era of uh, the, the 80s. It, it, it definitely it doesn't have that much technology. I guess that's the best way to put it. It's just a soft mesh. It feels great, um, but it's, you know, I, you could rip it, is, is what I guess what I'm trying to get, get to. The uh, Bulls is heat pressed on, just like the old school in that thick, thick 23 uh, heat pressed on. You've got your, your Michael Jordan uh, Mitchell and Ness jock tag right there. 84, 85, size 48. And then on the back, this is my favorite part of the jersey. That, that bright red Jordan uh, heat pressed on, and then that big 23 on the back. That, that kind of sold me on the jersey. Uh, it's just something about the way that red pops off of that white jersey uh, with the heat press. Um, you know, I think they went a, a little tad overboard with the pricing of the jersey, being that this one was $300. But nevertheless, um, it was just a classic jersey. And with the contract with Michael Jordan expiring, I didn't know when I was going to be able to get uh, a, a jersey of this caliber, I guess, uh, to represent the, the time uh, better than uh, the Mitchell Ness. Because quite frankly, I'm not a fan of the Nike 8403 collection that came out uh, about 10 years ago. And they tried to recreate some of the Jordan jerseys. And in my estimation, they just didn't do a good job. So went ahead and picked it up. That's the first thing I wanted to show. The second thing I'm going to show is a pair of kicks. These actually are the Air Jordan Retro 8. These uh, I picked up a few years back, no, a long time ago now that I think about it. Uh, these are the, the Aqua colorway, Aqua Concord colorway of the Air Jordan 8. He wore these in the finals against the Phoenix Suns in 1993. Well, not this particular colorway. I think he wore this colorway during the All-Star game that year. Uh, and I loved this colorway when I was in, in high school. Um, I actually like this one better than the playoff black and red or red uh, colorway. Uh, this one right here was very popular. Um, it's got the, the carpet tone right there. It's got all the, look at that 19, that screams 1990s, that bottom, all the, the color splash. Uh, but then the new buck is just all black on, on top of it. So, I mean, it, it's subtle, but then it gets kind of kind of 1990s wild, which, which I love. I, I never really rocked these uh, because, quite frankly, I was waiting to rock them with a 
Charlotte Hornets jersey, uh, which now I have. And now that my Bobcats are going back to the Charlotte Hornets, I can see me pairing these with a Hornets jersey and uh, representing in Charlotte uh, for my team. Uh, there were rumors that these were gonna come back out, but then I heard they were scrapped. So we'll see. Um, I, eventually they're gonna come back out. It just, we don't know if it's gonna be this year or not. But nevertheless, a great shoe. Uh, if it does come back out, pick it up. You can probably find these on eBay uh, right now. Uh, and it's a sturdy shoe, so if you like it, buy it. All right, that's gonna do it for this edition of Cracking the Collection. Uh, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and keep making your videos and I'll keep watching and uh, hopefully you'll do the same. And uh, definitely look for me on Instagram under Point Forwards, Twitter under Point Forwards, and Facebook under Point Forwards Crew. This is your boy Alex, and I'll catch you next time. I need the rock, rock on. Sex machine, got a rock, rock on. When the board tab, got a rock, rock on. EC, the rock, need the rock, rock on. And the task force, need the rock, rock on. And the stro, need the rock, rock on. And the red bull, need the rock, rock on. DJ Mark, need the rock, rock on. Rock the block, need the rock, rock on. 100X, need the rock, rock on. Graham Squad, need the rock, rock on. BSB, need the rock, rock on. On. And the Bobby Dance need the rock, rock on. And B Force need the rock, rock on. And Larry Ladd need the rock, rock on. And Levy need the rock, rock on. Essential Elements need the rock, rock on. Cash, money, money, rock, rock on. Illidale Massive, rock, rock on. Schoolie D need the rock, rock on. Cosmic Kev need the rock, rock on. And Kobe Cole need the rock, rock on. And the Roots need the rock, rock on.